Hey everyone, Sherman Chin here and welcome to my blog. So today I'm going to talk about a Brad Kobov video. Uh, he's a YouTuber who is also an artist. So he's going to talk about the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 uh, laptop, which is the Asus Pro Art. I think this is the 13 inch PX13, right? So this is one of the best uh, laptops you can get with the AMD Ryzen AI9 processor right now. And I think it's fully functional because it has its own dedicated GPU. Okay. This one is Let's one of the first laptops shipping with the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370. Now, you have no idea how many takes it took to get that name right. Yeah, the name's a mouthful, but these laptops are also part of Microsoft's Copilot PC Plus initiative that they've been promoting recently. I wasn't sure what to expect with this new processor. I tested out the new Surface Pro uh, that came with a Snapdragon X a few months back. It was part of the same uh, Copilot Plus initiative Microsoft's doing. And I was really impressed with the dramatically improved battery life and so I actually like his video because he's an actual artist who does work on his uh, laptops and the previous review he did which I also commented on was the one on the Snapdragon X Elite so we're gonna listen to why he thinks the AMD Ryzen 9 uh, Ryzen AI 9 HX370 is good as well. No fan noise coming out of the Surface. It's also worth noting Asus is releasing their own Surface-like tablet next month with a Snapdragon X processor. Going to be checking that out. Subscribe to not miss that one. But I wanted to know, does AMD come through with similar advancements with their Ryzen processors on their new Zen 5 architecture? And while yes, this is definitely a step forward, it is in a different way. I did some research before getting the laptop just to learn more about this stuff. I'm not a benchmark guy. And when I was watching these videos, I did get caught up. Yep, he's not a benchmark guy, so I'm just gonna skip on forward to listen to what he says about, you know, practically using his Asus Pro Art PX13, this 13 inch uh, laptop for his work. In for just a art. little laptop chip. And also what this means for their more powerful desktop class processors down the road. But what it means now is you're getting a lot of power in a really, really small form factor. Now, going back to that battery life, I was getting about a half a day here. I was looking at uh, my battery while I was writing this script on it. I was using about 25% of the battery in an hour. That was with me writing in a Google Doc and then maybe jumping over, testing something out in like Krita, uh, Eclipse Studio, Photoshop, just to see how the pen was doing, going back to my document, writing some more stuff up, checking out a tab with a website in it to get some specs. So overall, that process, I was getting about four hours of battery life. Once I jumped in and started using more drawing programs, I was seeing closer to three, three and a half hours. And when you compare that to other Windows laptops and how I use it, it's solid, but I don't see it as like a huge jump forward. The new Snapdragon processors are doing that better right now so if that's what you're looking for on these no co-pilot plus type PCs that's probably the direction you should look in but there are trade-offs going to ARM the biggest being is that some apps and some peripherals did not work on those devices yet most of so uh, like I mentioned before obviously the AMD Ryzen AI 9 it's focused more on performance rather than power so you're not going to have a long battery life. Uh, the Intel Luna Lake that's coming out in September is going to have more battery life than the AMD Ryzen AI 9. So uh, this is more of an incremental step to the, uh, Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen X86 processors. What's good about them is the uh, backward compatibility with X86 software. Okay, I'm going to let uh, Brad about that. I believe many of Adobe's apps just won't launch. It is not an option in their launcher. You want Premiere Pro, uh, you want After Effects, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Animate, none of those are working yet. And we're not sure when we're going to be getting them. Here, we still have access to all of that. If you want to attach a drawing tablet to an ARM PC, you can't do that. Most of them don't work yet. You don't have to worry about that here. Another big pro is this guy has a laptop with GPU in it. So I have a GeForce RTX 4060 in this one. You can also, you know, downsize this to a 4050. It's really rare to find that in something so small. Usually when you get a really tiny laptop, 
there's no GPU, and you are making more compromises in power. This thing makes Blender rendering much, much faster. I don't have a, like a lot of heavy rendering I do in Blender because I'm not doing animations. I'm not rendering a lot of cells, usually just one image at a time for my comic, but it is nice not to have to wait as long to get that render. And yeah, I was curious about gaming because I really enjoy it. I recently picked up Ghost of Tsushima, and just playing with that, I thought it performed really, really well. I did have to... So I'm just going to cut the long story short. Basically, like I mentioned before in all my previous videos, the Snapdragon X Elite is only good for casual tasks. That's why I said it sucks. But obviously, if you want uh, power, I mean, you want battery performance, then you would go for a Snapdragon X Elite. But if you want something with performance, something that can play games that is compatible with your X86 software, then go with the AMD AI Ryzen 9. Uh, because like I said, it's mainly uh, used for x86 software unlike the Snapdragon X Elite which is an ARM, uh, ARM software so you're going to have uh, problems with compatibility where you don't get this kind of problems with the uh, x86 processors like the Ryzen 9 AI so I'm just going to skip right to the ending here to get to the point because yeah, he made some really, really interesting points. He's just going to talk about uh, how good this laptop is. It's like hard plastic, so it's going to slide around a bit on that glass screen. I swiped it out for the Type B nib, which is the softest one that they offer here. It's got a little bit of a rubbery tip, and I, I like Okay, that I'm going to skip it's forward a bit because exactly he's, gonna, he's just talking about that, like about pencil, his, uh, his, his uh, usage of the laptop. You can actually see that in his videos like you can just go directly to his videos so i just want to hear his pen, conclusion here and there you could probably get by but if you're going to be spending several hours a day drawing on this i would pass on this one but what do you think let me know down below in so the he's Thank saying you that uh when you're drawing on it the experience is not that great okay let me just skip backward a bit so the thing, the problem like here shop, is this. Maybe to like 40 or 50 percent before I can really get those lines looking the way I want them to look to use for my line art. But when you crank up the smoothing, you lose some of that accuracy, and that's something that this pen isn't really. So he's just complaining about a pen. I know you guys. Uh, most of you don't use your computers, your laptops to draw on. Uh, this so in that case and you are just playing games or you're using high performance software to uh, maybe edit video do 3d artwork or make uh, create games like i do then i guess you are, do really well with the asus pro art px 13 and it shows that the amd ryzen ai 9 hx370 processor is a step above the previous generation of amd processors so the you know for me personally i would probably go with this laptop but i want to see how the intel luna lake performs by september and then i have this as a choice for myself i will not go with the snapdragon x elite anymore because i don't want compatibility issues and battery power um you know although it lasts longer i would want something that can actually perform like uh, what I want it to I mean like it can perform on tasks that I require it to do like playing games making 3d stuff and of course uh, video editing so I can make videos like this all right thank you so much guys I'll see you in the next video please do subscribe click that notifications bell and comment down below before I go check out this Kaiser Beyond get it with my link below with 5% off uh, using my coupon code Sherman Chin. Excellent knife. Alright, I'll see you guys. Take care now. Bye.